Hi, I'm Dr. Carlos Riveros, uh, internal medicine specialist uh, at Coral Gables Hospital. I've been working in the community of Coral Gables uh, for about eight years. And today I wanted to speak about uh, diabetes. Uh, basically, we're going to uh, find in the community two types of uh, diabetes, uh, big groups with type, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. The most common uh, diabetes uh, is the type 2. Uh, the main reason I want to speak about this is because I find uh, this diagnosis so often and it's so easy to prevent, so easy to treat uh, if we pay attention to the indications. There's so many factors that we have to control and so important because it's basically uh, based on the resistance to the insulin. So, the insulin. so the, the, the patients with the diabetes type 2 have enough insulin in their body. Actually, they have a lot of insulin, but the cells, because of obesity, because other factors, are so resistant to insulin. So we need to intervene much more than with the type 1 to treat it. So, I want to focus more on the type 2 diabetes, which is 90% of the cases of diabetes. It's that important. And this is the one that is more difficult to control. Why? Because there's so many factors that, that, that the uh, patient has uh, to follow and to improve. For example, hypertension, obesity, high cholesterol. So all these factors are related to the, to the uh, diabetes type 2 and needs to be treated at the same time. The number one uh, uh, treatment that we need to follow with these patients is, is called lifestyle modifications. Reduce the weight or maintain a low weight, maintain a low carbohydrate intake and uh, exercise. However, is not the only thing that we have to do. There's lots of medications. Most of the medications for diabetes type 2 to increase the amount of insulin that we have, but also to decrease the resistance of the cells for this uh, 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 insulin. That's why it's not enough to give medications. The patient needs to understand that lifestyle modifications are part of the treatment. It's like giving a pill, but it's called lifestyle modifications. This is one of the most difficult parts to, to, uh, uh, to treat. Uh, so, and the other thing is type 2 diabetes can also need insulin at some point. And the reason is because the pancreas at some point is not making insulin anymore. And uh, most of the times it happens when the diabetes is not well controlled for a long, long time. Often I see patients that have been having pre-diabetes without not knowing this. So when we diagnose this, the prevention of being a diabetic will start from that moment. It's proven that lifestyle modification can reduce up to 60% the risk of a pre-diabetic to be diabetic. So it's impressive. Now the same studies have shown that giving medication to the persons with pre-diabetes can prevent only 30% of uh, that person to become diabetic. So it's so important. Lifestyle modification is kind of the clue here, but it's the most difficult part to, to accomplish. So medications, there's uh, several medications. We can work with the medication. It's, it's probably easier for us to give uh, the medication to the patients with diabetes. It's more difficult to make the patient to understand how important it is to change his life, lifestyle. Number one recommendation, speak with your doctors about the lifestyle modifications to be done in your case, uh, how amount, amount of exercise you need, how amount of body you need to lose, and try to get the numbers. A1C hemoglobin is, is kind of a, a, a substance that we measure in the blood. And that, that tells you how in the last three months that your uh, sugar has been controlled. So you should be uh, controlling that to less than 6.5 more or less. Some, some people say they're less than that, but let's say 6.5 is a good number. And it doesn't matter if you take it in the morning, in the, in the afternoon, if you ate already, it will tell you how was that in the last three months. It's a good number to know. And you always, as a diabetic, should know that number. My number is uh, 7.5 or 8.6. So depending on that number, 
we have to readjust the medications. Those numbers are going to tell us how, what's the level of the risk that you have to have complications. What complications I'm speaking about? I'm speaking about renal complications, kidneys. So a diabetic becomes uh, renal insufficient uh, because of that sugar damaging the kidneys. So that's why we need the numbers to be low. Once you have a damage in the kidney, then the story uh, changes a little bit. Then you have to be treated for that also. That's why most of the diabetic patients have uh, medications also that could be for the, for the blood pressure, but also improve the, uh, uh, or prevent, let's say, the damage of the kidneys. Uh, so the, the other possible complications is heart complications. Um, high blood pressure is related to the, to the, uh, to the diabetes and it, it by itself can cause more, more complications like uh, uh, infarcts in the brain, infarcts in the uh, heart and also vascular disease which is also considered a cardiovascular complication. Uh, vascular disease is uh, your, your arteries, uh, vessels that supply the oxygen to your legs, to your hands, to your brain, becomes closed uh, and, and that causes several problems. Most of the people with that complication start having uh, problems when they walk and as soon as they start walking a certain distance they have pain in the legs. So, so you should pay attention to that. And for the males, uh, have in mind the, the erectile dysfunction could be one of the first signs of complications, of vascular complications in diabetes. It doesn't matter what medication you have, you should be controlling your A1C hemoglobin uh, and your sugars in the morning, it should be less than 120. Beside the, the, the diabetes, you should also uh, be treating the, the blood pressure, medication to protect your kidneys, and the aspirin. So that along with uh, medication for, for cholesterol if needed. So that, that's, that's a very complex disease, should be uh, uh, discussed in detail, all of these details with your uh, primary physician as well. Stay with your A1C hemoglobin in a good level, be compliant with your medications, and lifestyle modification. Again, I'm gonna repeat that, lifestyle modification, very important. Uh, so, Stay healthy. This was Dr. Carlos Riveros uh, from Coral Gables Hospital. Have a nice day.